Hi guys! First, thank you so much for supporting us and for supporting us, Shelia's merch. And it's been just the first week in our stocks for love and protect face masks are now sold out. And also, our stocks for the Progress self-love tote bag are now sold out. But since surprisingly, um, our stocks for the masks uh, lasted for just a week, we're now planning to start the production again and we'll let you guys know when we will release our new stocks. And for those who are asking, our bundle promo runs until supplies last. So grab yours now. Going to the vlog. Hi! Hello, hello, hello. So today, as you can see, sa ating thumbnail, tayo ay mag-uusap about five things to normalize this pandemic. So alam niyo naman na Siyempre, this pandemic changed a lot of things na maraming nagbago na naging new normal. For example, like wearing a face mask, face shield, and yung mga work from home. So talagang naging lahat adjusted na. And there are other things to consider to normalize in this time of pandemic na medyo nakakalimutan natin lahat. And we should always be reminded of these things. So, ato na nga, ano? Ato na nga. And the first thing is to... Um, know that it's okay not to be productive in times of crisis. Again, I'ma repeat that to you. It's okay not to be productive in times of crisis. So, sometimes we think that we are not making progress if, kasi parang, alam mo yun, making progress in each day or being productive in each day is parang our, ano ba, set of standards kapag parang may ang bagka, yan. I can relate. So, parang feeling mo kung hindi ka productive, hindi ka nag-move forward. But, it's not that way. Because, actually, hindi naman lahat naka-base sa pagiging productive. Kasi, progress is also about rest. Kasi, when you, when, when you rest, when you Give ample time to yourself. Self-love, self-care, mga ganyan-ganyan, mga minsan nakakalimutan natin. We're being too hard on ourselves na gusto natin laging um, may ginagawa tayo, may ambag tayo, productive tayo. We're um, doing something. And yun yung nagiging basis natin ng progress, ng happiness, ng feeling mo may ambag ka sa lipunan. Yan, yung mga, yung mga ganyan mag-isip. <laughs> I would just like to remind you that hindi dun lang nakabase what is progress eh. Kasi progress can also be the rest, the self-love, and the self-care that you're, you can also give to yourself. Kasi without those things, hindi ka naman magiging fueled para maging productive and to really do something for yourself and to other people or even in the society. But rest, self-care, self-love, me time and productivity. So balance ko yung dalawang yun. Kasi if puro ka productivity, kailangan may to-do list ako, kailangan may ginagawa ako, kailangan ganito, ganito. wala kang rest. So parang madi-drain out ka. Madi-drain out ka. Madi-drain out ka. Madi-drain out ka. Everything's gonna be overwhelming and mauubos ka. And pag naubos ka, ano na lang maibibigay mo? Ay! Char! Number two, number two, it's okay to detach yourself from people and social media when everything feels overwhelming. I will repeat, it's okay to detach yourself from people and social media when everything feels overwhelming. Go after what gives you peace. Kasi what gives you peace is what gives you happiness. Alam mo yun, parang without, syempre when you feel like toxic or masyadong heavy, masyadong draining, masyadong dramatic, or masyadong hindi nagiging healthy yung environment mo, and yung, yung mga na-absorb mo around you yeah, from other people that you're with or from the social media, even if you're just scrolling through your feed, it's okay to just back up a little bit and... Alam mo yun, detach from those things that drains you. Kasi, hindi naman siya healthy. So, in this time kasi, 
um, yun na nga, sinasabi ng mga tao minsan na kapag when you detach um, yourself from the social media, feeling nila a political ka or feeling nila wala ka ng ambag or wala ka ng pake. But the reality is that that's not true kasi um, choosing peace for a while doesn't mean na wala ka ng pake. Because we can always bounce back. We can always, um, alam mo yun, rest, then fight again. Alam mo yun, para if you're gonna fight for something, for example, on social media or, or whatever it is, you can always rest and then go back actually investment yan eh kasi when you know and when you find where your peace is is with a z magiging much better lahat-lahat kasi alam mo yon you will learn to bounce back to go back to your core to rest for a while and then then fight again number 3 not basing friendship values based on who checked on you in times of crisis again Number three, not basing friendship values based on who checked on you in times of crisis. Personally, kasi alam mo if you are struggling, right? You know when you're not okay. You know when you're overwhelmed, drained, or you feel like being detached, or you just want to be alone. Not because ayo mo sa ibang tao, but because you just feel like being alone and it's okay. And having that mindset or having that feeling or recognizing that feeling also means that you should also recognize that other people or your friends feel the same way too. Kapag feeling mo, uh, hindi mo feel, parang hindi mo feel na makipag-usap sa ibang tao, hindi mo feel like may mga nagchat sa'yo, hindi mo feel na replyan, hindi mo feel na sagutin yung tawag nila, hindi mo feel like si mama sa Zoom call nyo, it's okay. Kasi... Dapat intindihin mo din na other people feel the same way too kapag may ganong episodes sila. And it's just um, a small act of kindness and love to other people and to your friends na naiintindihan mo na they need that time for themselves. And it's okay na just to remind them na um, if you need something, just um, we're here or what. And I think that's enough kasi parang pipilitin mo na Binibase mo na, ay, kapag chinek niya ako, or, oh my gosh, si gantong friend, chinek niya ako, feeling ko we're two friends. Siguro, yeah, it can be a basis, but hindi kasi lahat ganun. So, hindi porket, hindi ka kinamusta ng isang tao. In times of crisis, eh, parang wala na siyang pakay or what. And we need to really recognize that and just be with each other because true friendship isn't just about kamusta ka or what. It's about, alam mo yun, kapag may problem, problematic ka is they'll be there for you in just one call away. Okay. Number four. Number four to normalize in this time of pandemic is to <laughs> pay attention to your mental and emotional health. I will repeat. Pay attention to your mental and emotional health. Aha. Uh -huh. Sige. Paano? Paano ba to? Paano ba to gagawin? Siguro, you should really invest on what makes you relax, what distresses you, what helps you achieve your peace, and how. Siguro, I can advise you to start a new hobby, alam mo yun, focus on the things that na medyo bago-bago naman sa usual routine mo. For example, yan, uso ngayon yung mga plantita, plantito. I'm not one of them, but maybe someday. <laughs> and, uh, ano pa ba? Siguro, ayun, siguro hindi pa siguro, feel ng katawan mo, but you can also try working out if hindi ka pa nag-work out. You just really have to um, put your mind away from the things that stresses you. And syempre, alam mo naman nga yung current situation natin nga. Not just in the Philippines, but in the whole world. So we really need to uh, pay attention to our mental and emotional health. You can also um, express your thoughts and feelings through writing, art, expressive arts, listening to music, and so on. Because, alam mo yun, hindi mo man mababago yung current state ng world, but you can always spark a change in you if you focus on your mental and emotional health. Number five, so the last and the fifth that we will discuss today is to normalize pulling each other up in times of crisis. 
So, we all know naman that we're all adjusting in the current situation because yun na nga, we're facing a new normal. And maraming nagbago in terms of work, school, um, daily routine. Things already changed and we're all adapting. Some of the things that we can do is yun nga, pangangamusta ng friend. Sinasabi nila na medyo mainstream na daw to, but you really can't deny the change that magagawa mo dun sa tao. The boost that you can give to that person. Kapag randomly kinamusta mo sila like, Hey, I would just like to remind you that you're doing well and I'm so proud of you. And those little things and little acts of kindness and love really can help other people get motivated and really pursue what they do. Even if they like feel like being so down all the time. Basta always remember that you can always spark a difference sa normal na pangangamusta and supporting a friend. And basically, this is, this is the best thing that we can do in this time of crisis. It's to really pull each other up. Thank you so much guys for watching. Of course, don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash and follow us on Twitter at Estrellas and on Instagram at estrellas.ph and of course, don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and hit the bell button to get notified whenever we release a new video. Hey Estrella, we can't wait to journey with you. And together, let's, let's see light in the dark. dark.